All right, guys, Swirly here, and in today's video, I'm going to be playing with uh, Six Star Wano Marco. Uh, really good runner, super fun. Um, so, I'm, these first two matches, I'm going to just be running a standard um, runner set. Um, but yeah, I, I really like him. He's he's fun. Um, probably the most annoying character in the game because uh, if you're if you got if you don't got a character that can can stats affect him you're not getting him off the flag he's he's just gonna pull that from you uh his basics push you can push you out of the treasure area i mean he's he's just really good yeah if he grabs that flag he's taken out unless you're got certain characters all right so my whole goal was to to five flag this team so just gonna go and knock everybody down. Zephyr can't do anything to me. He's just, he's just gonna hit me. Yeah. So his best chance is to hit me with the um, seventy percent damage, then just try to deplete my health to get me off the flag. Because killing Marco will get him off the flag, um, but he does have a revival trait. All right, so got the flag, just trying to stall a little bit. All right, I see this flag almost gone. Gonna go grab this real quick. And just gonna fly towards them. Yeah, you wanna build them with the health and defense. Um, he does give himself a defense buff when he does his uh, skill two, so you'll want that. All right, and we're gonna be able to take this one 5-0. Yeah, that's that's your whole goal with Marco: get flags and just survive. You'll be able to heal yourself a bunch. I mean, it, it, he's just really good. I really didn't do much other than just capture the flags and just fly around so all right another uh rogue town map and yeah all of them except for dofi can get uh marco off the flag so i do have to play a little more cautious on this one but i should be able to be the fastest one to the flag so i'm gonna fly over here Gonna let go of it a little early just in case I need to dodge. Thank you, Akainu. Oh, man, the Dofi skill is gonna still have me uh, on lockdown, so. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and heal up a little bit. trying to fly around so yeah with your uh skill two you just need to worry about knockbacks um you won't get uh inflicted with status effects so pretty much like the opposite of his uh when he's capturing capturing you can't get knocked back but you gotta worry about status effects my team's doing such a good job on holding the treasures i cap Ew, and that was unfortunate. I don't know how I thought I dodged it, but oh well. Luckily, my kid partner was there. And we're going to take that. Yeah. I Playing with Marco, I got a lot of uh, five flag wins. It was it was nuts. A lot, of, a lot of people don't really know what to do with the Marco around, so. All right, so... Here's what I'm running. I'm running a runner straw hat zone grand line. Uh, not the best uh, support percent, but I like this metal set. The OG kid metal, Wano killer, and the event killer. So a lot of uh, a lot of good tags, but he got 10% uh, damage reduction if my health is above 70% and 5% damage reduction if I'm at enemy's treasure. So I went full HP defense. The whole goal is just to be the most annoying Marco you would ever fight. So I'm going to get in your flag area and just, like, survive. Like, 
That was the whole goal of this metal set. But yeah, he has the um, he has a 14% uh, capture speed. I got the 20% skill too to help with the the healing and the defense buff. But yeah, this metal set's really good. Uh, really good for what I wanted to do with Marco. Um, just survive, have damage reduction. I got zone grand line, so plus the damage reduction he has already. I mean, so I'm tanky. I got a lot of health. Uh, if I can get my, I got a lot of defense. If I can get the skill two going, I got defense buff. So. Yeah, I was able to push the uh, Yamato. Oh, then the kid skill. Alright, gonna let that Marco just go that way. Alright, even though I'm damaged a little bit, I got my skill to gonna heal up. Do have to worry about that uh invincible skill with Zephyr. But yeah, right now, your basic attacks can get him off the flag, so. So if you can scoot him off, he can't really do anything to you other than the try to kill you. But this Zephyr's doing pretty good uh, not getting off the flag. But not really... Not really damaging me much. Oh, I thought I was a, I thought I was gonna be able to grab it right there, but there we go. And now he can't do anything. He does have team boost, so that did do a lot more than I thought. And yeah, he was gonna able to get me off right there, but just gonna scoot him out of the treasure area. You know, if it'll let me. There we go. And now he won't be able to do nothing. I don't need to keep flying around, so I'm just going to stop it early, then hit him with that skill one to knock him away, fill this up. But yeah, who knew that Zephyr's worst nightmare was going to be uh, a Marco? Then yeah, Yamato can't get, doesn't have any skills to get me off. Alright, leave this to Zephyr, because Zephyr does better when he's by himself in the treasure area. Haha, <laughs> knocked him down, and oh, so close of getting that flag. And this is a free flag right here. There we go, so I got add some damage reduction. Go get this meat real quick, so full health. Just when you thought he could have almost killed me. Alright, gonna take out that Zephyr. That Zephyr did pretty good, but Marco hard counters him, apparently. But yeah, just uh, being tanky, having a lot of health, a lot of defense, healing up. This metal set, I, I really like it for him. He's... <laughs> it's exactly how I wanted to play him. Just annoying. All right, and on to the last match. But yeah, overall, uh, Marco, top three runner. Um, probably be between uh, Yamato, Odin, and Marco. And it's it's real close. Um, they all just do something a little better than the other ones. But yeah, Marco, super fun. Try to get the perfect dodge, but took, took a little bit of damage there. And I tried to use my skill one to get out of there, but got caught right when I did it. Alright, and luckily the Zephyr... Um, Missed his skill one, so I didn't get knocked out of my my bird mode. Yeah. 
Dang, that Uta was doing no damage. Oh, and I didn't think uh, she would just pop the skill like right away, so. My Roger defense buff. And I was hoping that I was going to knock him out of the treasure area, but that'll do it. Alright, and that Roger saved my life, turning that 1v2 into 2v2, and we were able to take it. Just being sneaky, grabbing this one over here. And yeah, just <laughs> too many things happening. I, I don't even know who spawned behind me. Alright, he didn't go down there. But I got Soba Mask. I like this map for Soba Mask. You, you go to the second flag, then turn invisible. They don't know which one you're gonna. You're gonna go to their spawn or their their second flag. Jump down, go to mid. It's Let's stay invisible. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to reach me. That was dumb. But anyways, guys, we're going to take it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, Marco, super fun. Um, one of the best runners we got right now. All right, I'll see you all next time.